appreciate you coming in for another installment of my handbag hauls. In these handbag hauls, what I want to show you is the type of handbags that I pick up that have a very good resale value for me. Now, I pick these up at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, wherever I may find them, but they are the kind of handbag that you're not going to see hidden behind the counter because not everyone's going to recognize it, least of all the people that work at thrift stores. Uh, they will recognize your Dooney and Burke, your Louis Vuitton and, and the coach. So lately they've been putting some of those behind the counter with a nice big price on them. But I want you to be aware of other designers and other brands that do have and hold their resale value. So let's get started. But before we do that, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like this video as soon as you walk in the door or before you leave. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is a handbag that I sometimes am surprised by the value that they do get, but I usually wind up discovering them that way because I'll pick up the bag, they have a really nice quality about them, and then I'll research. That's the case with this one. Uh, I have sold this bag before a few times. It is Travelon, and this is a great messenger, little messenger bag. They also make wallets. They make a lot of the wallets on a chain type of, of handbag. This one also got my attention because of its weight. Rarely do I see this brand in, in a leather or a suede. I always see it in the sort of the nylon style. And then I think I told you last time, I think it was the very first installment of this series was how I never leave a pink handbag behind. Never leave your pink handbags behind. People adore pink. I worked with a woman, um, I mean, everything was pink. She loved it. She had pink Uggs. She had every designer bag in pink. She just adored it. So ever since then, I kind of knew there are people who love red and there are people who love pink. So I picked this up. Let me see. It does have the price still in it, I believe, for $2.92. And it is in beautiful condition. Absolutely beautiful condition. This has your little organizer, windows. People just really like this convenience, especially when they're traveling, hence the name Travel On. This makes a great travel bag. I love the mint and pink. This is the ultimate preppy colors. If um, I don't know if you guys are aware of the preppy handbook that came out back in the 80s. But one of the things they mentioned was that pink and green is the preppy, the preppy color. I like the fact that it's an adjustable strap, so you can wear it short if you want pretty short or you can wear it body and not only that this one you could actually wear on your on your belt loop as well so yeah definitely look out for travel here's another one i don't know if i showed you this last time but if i did well repetition anyway another great brand is perlina perlina is a brand that is very popular it is a very high quality purse very high quality leathers this is just a simple baguette people really like their simplicity too just a really simple baguette comfortable fit uh, I think that's why it's so popular. It also has an adjustable strap. And uh, what I love about Perlina is they really take the time to to put in the, the quality into their details. They have a fine lining, they have really nice zipper pulls, well-made zippers, that's really important too. And then this one cost me, and really guys, I would ask for probably, when we're talking about resale value, I would probably start that travel on bag for about $25. So I got it for about four, and I would also start this at about $20, $25 because of the size. If it was a bigger bag, I would definitely ask for more, but because of its convenient little size, I think a $25, $30 price tag is a good resale value on these. These do retail probably over a hundred dollars this little one probably about 150 because i know they're big hobo bags definitely ran into about the 300 dollars range all right guys well the next bag i'm going to show you now this is a vintage i'm always on the lookout for vintage bags they are so cute and this one totally reminded me of a bottega veneta which kind of specializes in this woven design i don't know if you've ever run into that brand or seen them in the magazines very popular brand they make shoes as well uh-oh i'm losing bags as we speak and um, let me pick that up. Okay, there it goes. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I was struck by the, the design of it, the, the woven, and then the way it's the little camera, like a little mini camera bag. So I opened it up, and it was so, so cute, and I could tell it was leather, and it was that, I have it stuffed, guys. I have to stuff these bags. Anyway, I only paid $2.99 for this, so basically $1.50, and just look at the quality of it. It's got a lining. 
And then I just love it. I think it's so cute. You probably wouldn't be able to put your big cell phone. Maybe, maybe you did try it. But some people are back to their small um, cell phones. My two eldest daughters are now using the, the smaller phones. They got tired of the cumbersome big phone. But um, it's just so cute. I mean, it is just darling. Here's the label there. I hope it's free. And this is a full leather bag. It does have the tag that says leather. What struck me about it right away was the woven design. I thought it was a Bottega Veneta, as you may be aware, uh, familiar with that brand. They make shoes and they make bags. And their bags are mostly, or they were a few years ago. I think they've kind of gone to another, um, they've added to their design. The signature design was the woven pattern. So that's what I thought it was, but it's not. And I really was struck by the fact that it is a nice full crossbody. So that's really, really cute, I think. Can you see it? Yeah, so I really like that. Love the small compact size. I'm afraid of buying the smaller bags to resell. This I will definitely ask about $40 for it because of its rarity. I really think it's rare to have anything in this brand, especially leather. So I will probably start this bag at $40. I think it's a good deal for that. Okay, another thing, and I was hoping to find the Victoria's Secret bags because the Victoria's Secret bags if they're in good condition and they either clear vinyl or something really cute and sexy, girls want them. They want them for their bags, for school. They want them for school bags. They want them for beach bags. They want them for tote bags, for shoppers. So they're very, very popular. This says Love Couture on it. And this is so... But this one is from Juicy Couture. So, and it's very, very nice. It's that nylon with, I think it's faux leather. I'm not sure. Because sometimes they make their bags in leather and sometimes they don't. But I really, really love it. It is sequenced on the animal print there. It's a, I just want to hang it there, though. <laughs> I think it looks cute in my room. I love it. But it also has the drawstring. So these big tote bags are very, very popular. And Victoria's Secret is a luxury brand as well. So you will find that they are also just as popular in their little bags. I'm not sure what they sell for originally, retail. But I have gotten up to $40 for a Victoria's Secret bag. Now, again, this is a Juicy Couture. This is a very good, um, this is in very good condition. It does have the studding as well. So it's got a lot of pretty design elements. I wouldn't be afraid to start this one up at about $40 as well. And I will put that up on Posh and eBay. And because of the condition it's in, it's, I think, a good deal. And look how cute it is. It's got a little lipstick mark there too. Little lipstick logo. That is so, so cute. And then the lining is in perfect condition as well. This I paid, what did I pay for this? Okay, yeah, this is was marked $7.99. So I got it for about six, I guess. Yeah, and it's just in great, great condition. But that's what the, um, that's the brand I was gonna recommend to you, or rather the style, now we're talking style, is the big tote bag from the luxury brands such as Victoria's Secret, Bessie Johnson, and um, Juicy Couture. Don't hesitate to pick these up, these big tote bags they sell. As I said, the girls love to use. They're great for college kids. The college girls, some of them do not like the backpacks. You know, especially the girls that really like fashion and they don't want to wear a big ugly backpack. They do like to carry their books and things like that. So they, they do sell. Or instead of carrying a bulky briefcase, you'll see them with their tote bags as well. So definitely keep that in mind as well. Okay, here's one that I forgot to show you. I actually forgot to show you this last time we did a haul. And I, I just, I had had it on the other side and I totally forgot. This is Donna Karen, or DKNY. And I know that people think DKNY, and it's probably the truth today, that it is a diffused, now become a diffused brand. This is DKNY, but this was a top shelf brand in the 90s. You can find these at Neiman's, always. They're, that was one of their, that and the Sharif and the... Oh, what else can I, oh, the um, Moschino. All of those were in competition for the top shelves in, at Neiman's and of course other brands, but this was definitely a highly desirable brand and this is a remnant of that era. Absolutely beautiful, plum colored, all leather bag. I love the, the, the drop on this. It's just a perfect hobo drop here. Very nice and soft. This was super cheap. This was marked $12.99, so I got it for about 9 
and um, it's just so so cute I actually love the little snap on it as well it's got like a little snap there that just you kind of like clip, shut it up just kind of shuts once you put this in here it kind of shuts like that and it's just such a pretty slouchy bag I love the pockets as well they have uh, they're very roomy I've got some little stuff in here yeah, they're, I mean, these are per, these are just really nice and roomy pockets right in the front there. Just super cute for your money really quickly. It is compartmentalized in three sections. So it's just lovely. It really is, and it is in excellent condition. So I can see why they put $14 on it, but like I said, I got it for about 9 with my discount. And I just love the slouchy structure of it. Sometimes I like, you know, the hard structure bags, the stiff bags, but then other times I just, look at that. It's just so cool. And it's like, almost like a black plum. Gorgeous. So look for DK and Y, but look for the leather bags. Because I don't know if she ever actually diffused to the point of making imitation leather bags as Liz Claiborne did. I don't recall, but I just remember that I loved her bags. I had gorgeous bags from her back in the 90s and they're still very well, so they're, they're still sought after on eBay. So um, yeah, I could easily, pro I would start this bag at about $50, definitely. I think it would, it would definitely get that, 50 to $60 on this bag, because this is a very, very pretty bag, and it is in very good condition. Again, that's DKNY, Donna Karen, New York. Okay, I love this bag. I was gonna do a switch bag. <laughs> Because I'm thinking of keeping this one. I just adore it. It is very flashy and uh, just everything that I love. <laughs> this one was Mark 24, so I got it for about $17. And this is one of those Italian brands that you don't really know it until you pick it up and you feel it. And you just feel the great quality leather. You look at the fabulous Italian styling. And you just know it. So you open it up and you look and then you'll see a beautiful Italian name. But be sure and look further because sometimes the Chinese have learned to imitate the names. And you'll have to see that it doesn't say made in China. No, this one says made in Italy and it is Arcadia. 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 Yeah, Arcadia. Genuine leather made in Italy. And amazing condition. Amazing high quality lining. Nothing wrong with it. Absolutely gorgeous. Again, I paid about $17 for it. It's got a mock croc look. It's got a splattered camouflage with gold dusting and just, it's just beautiful. I absolutely love it. And then it's got these little tassels as well. So yeah, I picked this up, like I said, for about $17. I would probably start this at about $99 if I were to sell it like it is right now without me using it. But I really, really like it. I may have to just switch into this. But I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna and look at the little embellishment. I mean, look at the hardware. It's actually got sort of a Rococo style design or something on there. It's just darling. So pretty. And these are working pockets. Also, so it is just gorgeous. Very soft, but still kind of a structured leather. And it does have a nice little panel at the bottom with some feet. So again, look for those Italian names, but make sure you look really deeply because, like I said, the Chinese are very astute. And they have gone to making their products with, um, with Italian names, knowing that people really love Italian leather. So there it is there, guys. I hope you can see the... The label there, Arcadia, made in Italy, genuine leather. So, and there you'll see different names. Like I said, there's some that I don't discover them until I pick them up and I hold them and I can see that all of it is leather. The handles are leather. The bottom is leather. I investigate the label as well because it will usually tell you that the trim is, is imitation or it'll tell you made in China, which not everything that's made in China is, is not desirable, don't get me wrong. Um, there's a lot of uh, bags that are made in China that are very nice, but I really do prefer the Italian design aesthetic always and that's what I look for. So that is one there and then here is 
I can now believe that I found myself a Fendi. I haven't had a Fendi since probably 1988. And I had a really nice huge tote with all the little Fs on it. But uh, I got rid of it. I sold it. But I found this one. And this was one that would have passed me by as well. But uh, because it was hanging at the counter. Usually when you pay at this Goodwill, they have a, a whole bunch of things in the back of the counter. Like right behind the person that's working there. And they periodically announce what it is that they have. Like sometimes they'll say, oh, we have a coach bag today, or we have a Michael Kors bag. Come to the front and see it. They actually announce that. But they didn't announce this one, and I guess they're just it wasn't time to announce it. Or they may just have not, I don't know why, but I saw it back there, and I wasn't even sure if it said Fendi. I thought it did, but what struck me was the gorgeous color. It is just so beautiful, and the, the fabric, this is suede. So it's got a gold dusting on it, sort of a... Um, two-tone, I don't know, kind of like a holographic tone there. Hot pink, absolutely gorgeous. I looked it up on eBay immediately while I was in line, because the lines are always long there, and because uh, I wasn't sure about this logo. I'd never seen one, but I looked up some Fendi bags, and so this is their new hang tag logo that I was not familiar with, but I am definitely familiar with the quality when I looked at it up close and when I saw the, the, the uh, material that it was made of. So yeah, gorgeous baguette by Fendi, and uh, absolutely no doubt that it's genuine. Suede lining, there's the logo there, or there's the label there. And it's still covered in plastic, so it won't be scratched. There's also a hologram, which I've never seen before in any designer bags, but it has an auth authentication hologram there as well. So I picked this up for... $20, I believe. It was $24 or $29, and I picked it up for $20. Something like that. It was really cheap. I could not believe it. And this is selling for about three or $400 on the uh, secondhand market. I'm not sure what it was retailing for. I'm sure a lot more, probably close to $900 maybe. But uh, I was just absolutely floored with it. I don't have to tell you to look for Fendi. We all know they're, that's a desirable brand. But I just wanted to show it to you in this haul because it had been hanging back here for a long time. Back here in my in my armoire and everyone could see it in my videos and people were asking me about it and I hadn't had a, uh, and I hadn't had a chance to show it to you. So that's why I wanted to bring it to you in the haul. Let me stop that noise. Alright guys. So I know that everybody recognizes a Fendi when they see it or when they read it. But that's not a logo that I was familiar with. I don't know if you were, but um, I just hadn't seen it before. But when I felt the bag and, and saw it up close and saw the hologram, and, and I mean, what stood out to me was the color. I just, that's kind of the first thing I, I usually notice in a good bag is the style, the, um, the color, the, you know, just the way it looks. There's just something really special about, about a designer bag. They, they really, really do show their true colors. No pun intended. So that's the end of the haul. I did want to show you that Fendi because, as I said, I was not familiar with that logo, with that new hand tag, but the what struck me about the bag was the color. I could tell it was suede. I could see that holographic effect to it, that golden, um, golden hue that it had. So I asked the guy to show it to me, and sure enough, as soon as I saw it, I, I realized it was a Fendi. And um, that's just another thing that you always want to look for before you even... Think about names, think about style, think about the aesthetic of the bag. If it really attracts you, then chances are you're looking at a good bag. I hope you enjoyed this installment of my handbag haul. I hope you come back for more. Come back and watch another video. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the bell so that you can be notified when I do upload another video or when I go live on Saturdays. I really appreciate you being here, guys. Thank you so much for everything. Bye-bye.